In this video, we'll talk about the basic operation of a classroom with a smaller touch panel. So the overview is we have the touch panel, a dedicated monitor, a document camera as applicable. We also have auxiliary cables for a laptop such as, and we have laptop power for USB-C for the MacBooks. And we also have an HDMI cable with adapter for the USB-C MacBooks. And if you have another device that just takes a regular HDMI cable, you can disconnect this and plug it right in. Down here in the equipment rack, the only thing you may need to interact with is the DVD player, which is actually a Blu-ray player as well. Down here, this is the Mac Mini. The power button for the Mac Mini is over here on the right side. And you can tell if the Mac Mini is turned on by looking at the power indicator here. There's also a USB port here, and this USB port here also connect to the Mac Mini. Although this is the only power button that works with the Mac Mini. This power button is not functional at this time. The other devices you do not have to worry about. Operation of the touch panel is fairly straightforward. Simply select the source you wish to view and it will appear on the monitor next to you and on the video projector in the classroom if it's turned on. Of course we have power controls here, room volume controls here, audio mute, and video mute which will blank the projector image without turning the projector off. This is useful if you'd like to view something here on the local monitor without necessarily showing it to the entire classroom. We have status indicators here, and if the room is equipped with lighting controls, they'll be available by pressing this button here. To get to this home screen at any time, you can press the home button. For example, if you have selected Blu-ray player and you're on the Blu-ray screen, you can either select return to main menu or you can press the home button. To use the document camera, we have zoom controls here to zoom in and out, an autofocus button over here, and of course, we want to make sure the power is turned on. On this particular model, red means off, and you have to press and hold it to turn it on. And a solid blue light means that the document camera is powered on. So we'll see that here in just a few seconds, it's powered on. Some of the document cameras do have a light in case you need it, which is able to be switched on and off right up here. This room also has a little USB speakerphone, which is connected to the Mac Mini for Zoom purposes, for audio. And over here, of course, just like every other classroom, we do have Zoom settings. So if you will be Zooming in the classroom, be sure to match the Zoom audio and video settings to the setting on the note card in the classroom. And that's about it. If you need further assistance or if you run into any problems in the classroom, please contact the IT Help Desk at 610-861-1500. Again, that's 610-861-1500 or email help at moravian.edu. Thanks for watching.